let's be honest. Like, it is on your drive, so you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, my <laughs> drive. Rah, rah, rah. My Whatever. I'm all right, Foxy. I can park at Paul. What do you mean? Are you all right? It's your drive. Yeah, I'm yeah, done. Dan, Dan said that he's moving. Just a quick short intro today, as you've probably gathered already by the thumbnail and the title. We've got a big truck to crack on with this weekend, but I'll quickly run you through what we're planning on trying to get done. Just in case you've clicked this without actually seeing anything beforehand, we've got a Ford Ranger in for the weekend. Luckily, it is a bank holiday weekend, so if we need to run into day three, we can get that done. But yeah, there's a lot to do, and I've not actually decided what products I'm going to be using, so just like the last couple of details. I'm just kind of going to be picking products off the shelf as I go along with this. Also, in terms of pressure washers, again, in the last video, you've probably seen me use the Arva of Norway P60. This one, I'm just going to be using my regular Kranzel uh, 2160. Um, yeah, I've just literally not even got time to assemble the P50 model, but that'll be coming in the next video and then the P55 in a video after that. So back to the truck then, and that's in for a full enhancement detail. We're also probably going to give the interior a quick clean. It's looking a little bit dirty. It is a workhorse, so obviously you're going to expect the mud and dirt and all of that in the carpets on the inside. So as I said, we've got a lot to do. So if you do enjoy this video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And also I'll probably do some giveaways at the end. And I'm very aware that I'm talking very quick now. So let's get it set up and dive into the detail. Welcome back to another detail then guys. So the owner a couple of days beforehand asked me if I wanted the car to be rinsed down or anything. I told him no, um, just because it looks a lot better for the videos and all of that. But yeah, I think he has given it some sort of rinse down. I know he definitely cleaned out the interior before bringing it to me. But anyway, enough of that. So first of all, as always, we're going to be starting off with the wheels. And in this case, we're going to be jumping into the arches first of all. It does go down the beaten track quite a lot so it gets a lot of mud and dust up into the arches and here we're just going to be spraying it out with some Koch Chemie Green Star at a 30 to 1 dilution and then just using a long handle detailing brush just to get in there and give those plastic arch linings a really good clean and if you can try and get to the other suspension components whilst you're in there and then of course give it a thorough rinse off. Once you've done the arches then it's just a case of going around each wheel as you normally would so spray your all-purpose cleaner all over the tyre and go at it with a stiff tyre brush just to remove any dirt and grime that's in the rubber ready for some tyre dressing later on. Repeat this process a couple of times until the suds go white. So on the first time you scrub them you're going to see the suds are going to be brownish and um, the second time they should be a little clearer and maybe even white straight away on the second hit and that's all this needed was two hits. Onto the wheels then, and I use Garage Therapy's wheel shampoo and as you can see the wheels are quite well looked after actually and I'm not sure when but I know the owner did a little kind of refurb job. Him and his mate did this uh, black and silver look on these wheels. So yeah, pretty good job actually. I've seen a lot of home DIY spray paint jobs on wheels and they don't always turn out as well as you might imagine. But these actually look quite smart and yeah, the wheels weren't overly dirty. So Garage Therapy's wheel shampoo did the perfect job here. Didn't need anything much more aggressive than that. And just get into the barrels with a nice deep barrel brush and then clean the faces again with another generic detailing brush just to make sure all the wheel nut areas and the faces of the wheels are nice and clean rinse off and repeat this three more times Product wise then I just decided as I went what I was going to be using and for the snow foam I went with the Stiana Gloss Snow. This stuff smells amazing, it lingers in the air for some time and I know that's not be all and end all but it does make it a more enjoyable experience. We've done a few videos on Stiana Gloss Snow so I'll put links to that in the top now and in the description. 
These number plates that you see on the front, these come from Full House Customs over on Instagram. Again, I'll tag them in the description below. So if you are interested in a set of show plates or even road legal number plates, they do a lot. But anyway, we went around the entire vehicle with the snow foam, letting that sit on there and dwell for a few minutes, whilst we then went around all the window shorts and the grills and badges and things like that with a detailing brush just to get that nice and cleaned out. Basically where a wash mitt won't get in the next stage. Speaking of the next stage then, the shampoo stage, we use Detailed Online's Elite Shampoo. It's the cherry scented one. Really nice, really, really sudsy as well. Just dip your pressure washer into the bucket just to mix it all up and generate some extra suds. And for the wash mitt, I'm using Workstuff's wash mitt and this thing absolutely drinks a bucket of water. So <laughs> yeah, you really are gonna be topping it up and especially on a vehicle this size, this would use a full bucket of water anyway, regardless what wash medium you use. But with this wash mitt, yeah, I probably went through nearly 30 litres of water washing this. I think I must have filled it up one and a half times. And then obviously for the lower parts, I just use a different wash mate just to clean the lowers where it's a little bit dirtier. And if you're just getting into detailing, then quick tip for you is do the windows first and then work top down. Although when I say that, I actually do the bonnet first and then the roof. But yeah, I do the flat panels first and then just yeah, work top down. So from the top of the door to the bottom and work around. I've worked around in a clockwise rotation normally. But yeah, whatever suits you, but just work in a methodical way and have a couple of wash mitts on hand. One for the top of the car and one for the lower areas where more dirt and mud gets kicked up. Now as you can imagine with a vehicle this size, there was a lot of tar and iron and a lot of claying to be done. I was also pushed for time as well, so I didn't manage to record any of that, but I did all of that and then we went on to the machine polishing stage. So here I'm using a rotary machine polisher with the 3M polishing system I decided to go with. So this is the 3M yellow pad and 3M yellow polish and this did a cracking job of removing the swirls and there was a lot of hologramming. Somebody had had a go in the past, especially on the bonnet, you could see it. Um, yeah, there was hologram marks all over the place, so this removed a lot of that. And then we're going to refinish it on the next day, on day two. We'll get to that later on. But yeah, I'm just giving you an idea here what I'm actually using. Oh, and even at 641, I needed a work platform to stand on and get a little bit of extra height to comfortably manage the bonnet and the roof. So we'll work around this and I'll chip in every now and again with uh, yeah anything that you might find useful.
So the sun was in and out all day and in fact it was actually quite a perfect day to be doing this because with the cloud cover it meant it kept the panel temperatures down. The downside is there was no sun or very little sun to show you some 50-50s. So if you notice there's a section here on the rear where I've left a 50-50 tape line. I'm going to leave that and show you that tomorrow and same on the front wing so we'll get to some 50-50s in a moment. However, what I'm going to ask you guys is, I probably need a decent torch now, so I've got a couple of old torches that I use, a homemade sun gun from many years ago that I do use, and I've got the halogen work lights, so I do have plenty of light sources, but yeah, let me know what's... But yeah, let me know what torches you use to spot defects. I'm looking for some new replacements, so I'd be interested. Leave a comment below, and yeah, let's crack on with a bit more polishing. At this point we're getting towards the end of the day so I'm going to be wrapping up the polishing part in just a moment until tomorrow. If you're enjoying this video so far make sure you hit that like button and if you're not subscribed to the channel already really would appreciate it if you did consider subscribing. So yeah next up we're going to put the machine away and all the equipment, have something to eat and then do a little bit of work on the interior foot mats. As you can see, these foot mats are rather dirty then. I think there's an oil stain or something on the front driver's foot mat as well. Unfortunately, I don't have my inspector, Inspector Jeff, with me this week. I'm not sure where he was. He may have been out or just sleeping in the house. But yeah, a few people like to see Jeff in the videos. And yeah, I do try and get him in more and more videos. I've also had a few questions on Instagram as to the machine that I use. I'll get onto that in just a moment. So first of all, the process here is just rinse down the foot mats. Um, I'm really sure the pressure washer's still out, but at this point, it's all packed away. So just a bit of pressure from the hose pipes, good enough. And then I'm using some Auto Smart Bio Brisk to basically treat the carpets and use that as a cleaner. And it also kills any bacteria and enzymes in the foot mats as well. And then we'll just agitate that with this brush attachment on a drill. I'm just getting used to this. This is only my second use of it. It feels a little bit strange, but something no doubt I will get used to. And then again, a thorough rinse down afterwards. And then to extract all of the liquid out of the foot mats, I'm using the Bissell Spot Clean Pro, which basically seems to be what everyone's using these days. It's something I've had my eye on for about a year or so. And yeah, finally got around to getting my hands on one about six, seven months ago. So that's what we're using here. So hopefully that's answered some questions you guys have been asking me. On to day two then, and the day started out with a lot of direct sunlight, so I was able to grab all these 50-50s for you now, and also try and grab some with the homemade sun gun that I use. So you can see there was a lot of swirling beforehand, and I think I'd say I've got about 95% of the swirl marks out. There's also some hologramming along the top of the doors, which I'm just gonna try and show you here. I didn't pick it up great. Um, as I said, I probably got rid of most of the hologramming on day one from the bonnet, which was by far the worst area. As you've probably noticed in past videos on day two, the video seems to move along a lot quicker and that's normally because I'm conscious of time and really want to get everything done. So yeah, I finished off the passenger side the same way I had done on the previous day. And here I'm just going around all these smaller areas with the spot pad that I hadn't done, just getting those finished up as well. 
And then of course we're going to go around with the Max Shine DA polisher on the 3M blue pad and blue polish just to finish everything down to get rid of any possible buffer trails or anything like that that I may have induced into the car. At the end of the day, you want this to look as good as it can. Yes, it's in for an enhancement, but still, you don't want to be leaving any buffer trails because that just looks horrible. You see that far too often. So that's what we're going to concentrate on here. And yeah, we'll work through this and I'll get back to you in a sec. Following a polishing stage, I would normally go over the car with an IPA mix or a panel wipe just to remove any polishing oils. However, I don't know why, but I decided to try something different and I'm using the Polish Pigs Quick Detail and this did a really good job of removing any oils. So there was bits where I could see, not buffer trails, but literally like polishing oils, you could see um, the marks, the white marks where you'd been to remove away any residue afterwards. But using this, this wiped them away perfect. So there's nothing left behind. The paint looked absolutely flawless afterwards. The odd remnant of some swirlage, but other than that, yeah, it looked absolutely perfect. So yeah, we'll quickly give the truck a full wipe down and we'll move on to the trim work and protection stages. This video is becoming quite long I'll quickly just reel off the products used for the trim work and all of that jazz so for the side steps I didn't want anything too greasy because obviously we're going to be stepping in and it may transfer onto the pedals so we're using Stiana Gloss's Bubbler which is not greasy at all and it leaves a great finish to these plastic parts here we also use this in the wheel arches as well just to cover those arch linings with a little bit of protection as well on the tires we went for auto smart high style it's been some years since I've used that stuff and I just found it was the easiest thing to apply to these big massive sidewalls so yeah I went for a very liquid based tire dressing there. Onto the glass work and we used Dual Auto K's Optical and that was paired with the Yum Car K's Glass Microfibertel. The bright work was all done using Dodo Juice Motley Blue. I love that stuff it's a liquid based metal polish and again just an old microfiber towel just to give those a clean up remove any water spotting or anything like that and a little bit of dullness especially on the little trim on the wings. And finally then onto the protection stages, I decided to use something I've not used for a while and that is Yum Carcare's Yum Ceramic. So it's a spray on ceramic based product and you can be quite generous with this. Spray this all over the panel and then work that in with a plush microfiber towel. Again, I'm using one here supplied by Yum Carcare's. The instructions for this are quite easy to follow. Just spray this all over your panel and work it in. And then flip the microfiber towel over or with a second microfiber, just buff it off to a nice high shine. And this stuff, again, just feels absolutely slick when you're removing it. And it's got some great water beading and sheeting behavior. And I'll quickly finish off some of these shots and we'll get back into the garage in just a moment. And then I'm going to walk my dog. So yeah, let's crack on through the rest of this video.
there we have it then guys the truck is all done that's two full days spent polishing it and giving it a thorough good clean so as you can see we went ahead with the rotary and the 3m system and fortunately for me the yellow pad and polish combination would basically work to treat got rid of majority of the swirl marks and left behind minimal buffer trails actually i still went around and refined it refinished it with a blue pad and blue polish from 3m on a da um, just to be 100% sure and get some extra clarity and gloss into the paintwork. And then of course we finished it off by protecting it with some Yum Ceramic. And I don't think I've used this since I probably reviewed it 18 months ago. Um, I'll put a link to that up there. And this smells amazing. It's still on my hands. It's almost like a bubble, bubble gum scent or something like that. Really, really nice and super slick when you buff it off as well. Now, I know I said there was going to be a giveaway. I've gone through the boxes and they're pretty much empty, just odds and sods. Um, so I just need to wait for a few more products and then I'll add to it and do some more giveaways. However, we have got some Arvor of Norway pressure washers coming up for giveaway soon. So make sure you're subscribed for that. Also, we've got some guest videos. So yeah, well, let's talk about that for a minute. So I'm going to be taking a short break. And as I recall this, I'm not sure when that's going to be in terms of when this video goes live. However, we've asked a few other YouTubers and manufacturers to do some guest videos for us. And we may do this every year. So let us know in the comments on those videos if you'd like to see something more. So coming up then, we've got Elliot from Valet Pro has kindly done us a video on, uh, I think it's how to cut, how to machine polish on... If I remember rightly, it's a golf. I have seen the video just a while ago when I watched it. We've got Specky McSporran, a YouTuber and Instagrammer. He's doing a detail as well. I'm going to be watching him and his process. And also we've got the guys from Pyramid Car Care as well. They've kindly done an Alpha Julieta, if I remember correctly. Um, and a little bit of a studio tour. I'm actually waiting for that footage to come through so I can stitch that onto the end of the video. So make sure you like and subscribe this channel to get the notifications for when those videos become live. So hopefully that's something you guys will enjoy. So yeah, we've we'll tried picking a variety. So as I say, a, an Instagram, a YouTuber in the terms of Specky McSporran and a couple of suppliers and manufacturers of products as well in regards to Ballot Pro and Pyramid Car Care who are also detailers as well. So a nice variety for you there. And so we've not got any prizes unfortunately this week. However, what I wanna know in, in the comments below is what music do you listen to when you're detailing? If you listen to any music at all this weekend, Saturday was all about DMX and Sunday, if you're wondering what I listened to, was NERD to start with and then Anderson Pack. Um, that guy is absolutely amazing. So if you like your hip hop and you've not heard of him, uh, you may have heard about him in Silk Sonic with Bruno Mars, but yeah, check out Anderson Pack. I'm sure Anderson Pack or NERD or Pharrell Williams or DMX don't need my promotion there. But anyway, enough about that. Hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, don't forget to smash that like button. Also, don't forget to check us out on Instagram at Detailing World Official. And if you want to see the behind the scenes and all of that jazz, I'm on there at Randomly Set. We've also got a new Instagram account as well, Detailing World Media. Give that a check out as well. As always, make sure you subscribe. We'll put a link just here for you to subscribe to the channel and a couple of videos here and here somewhere that we think you might enjoy. So, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next video.